<clears throat> Hello, Scorpios. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot. My name is Genevieve and going to be doing an 18 card spread for you just to see what your end of the week message is. I was doing end of week messages, but I just really wanted to switch it up for the remainder of the Zodiacs and you happen to be one of the ones that is going to get the switch up. So here we go. Okay, I believe it's it's begun. <laughs> that was the Ten of Swords there popping out. Some of you might feel a bit exhausted at this time, but we're going to get into my 18 card spread available on my website, atouchoftarot.com. Thank you so much for being here. Your likes, subscriptions, donations, gifts, it all is greatly appreciated. Okay, let's begin. I'm just going to pull the cards first and what your person's thinking, feeling, feeling about the situation. Does your person want to make it work? Or the person on your mind? Near future, most likely actions and outcome or final message. We'll see. Maybe a combination of both, right? So let's begin, Scorpios. Let's see what's going on. What are your person's thoughts? thoughts right now. Now, very interesting. Okay. First card we are starting with is the death card. Um, it's no coincidence I had saw the Ten of Swords, right? That's double ending energy. But this here is like the death rebirth. So it is possible that your person after an ending, maybe uh, something really harsh that happened between the two of you, maybe even an argument, your person may want to come back in because the next card is the Knight of Wands and then the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands in this deck, um, it's not my favorite card when it comes to Twin Flames. I have a few others, including the Five of Wands is one that I prefer. But in this case, for your person's thoughts, I am seeing that your person is really thinking about coming in having a restart, a rebirth, and completing the past cycle to move forward to a new cycle with you, Scorpios. That is really awesome for, I think that might be one of the best um, <laughs> first messages of my 18 card spread ever. And I created this by myself. Like this, I've done a lot of them. My number one spread this is literally saying in your person's thoughts, they want to come back. And seeing that Ten of Swords earlier does help me with this message. They want to come back and work on things, work things out here, complete the old and move forward to a new uh, phase with you. So what are in the this person's feelings? So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot of passion for you. Uh, this person, like I said, once again with the full card and even next to the defeat card, the five of swords, this person wants to walk away from whatever happened, whatever was holding this person back and this person wants to come towards you. I like to sometimes look at it at both angles just to pick up more energy here. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah, this person... Definitely. I'm like so feeling the energy here. This person um, is actually for many of you in my, when my left palm is itchy, it's a yes, yes, yes. And it's itchy. This person for many of you will be coming in towards you. So this could be happening within the last week of September, because that's what these readings were really supposed to be about. And that's what we're doing right now, right? It's um, Friday right now. So the Five of Swords definitely let go of that defeat energy and have a new beginning. This is what this person wants. They want to take this risk. For some reason, it's risky. I'm not sure why. Okay, so we have for um, what are their feelings about the situation? So about the situation, though this is their feelings you know, and thoughts about you, when it comes to the situation at this time, this person is definitely in their head. I'm getting that this person did you wrong in one complication 
complicated way or another. I think it had to do with an argument. I think there was just some harsh words. I think maybe someone walked away abruptly. Um, so this person, what does this person think about the situation? Is like they got to get back to you. They got to get clarity here. Um, <clears throat> they left you kind of wondering or in the dark or in the light, like this person's in her head. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe in your head, it's in the, it's a light place or something um, about them walking away. You're like, where did this person go? And that's what I'm getting for the first time with this card. For those of you that have got my 18 card spread reading, you'll know, I know my cards. Like these are like my babies. Like I have a vibe with them, but what I'm getting here for the first time is this person left you in confusion because you're like, where did they go? Like they were walking and all of a sudden, where'd they go? Would this person fall off of the dock? You know what I mean? Um, so it's almost like they may have disappeared. And yeah, uh, about the situation, this person wants to bring clarity and this person wants to reunite and this person wants to do it fast is what I'm getting. Yes, yes, yes. My palm is itchy. Yay. It's a beautiful energy. So <clears throat> does this person want to make it work? Okay. This person has some, I want to say reserve, like they're, they're held back a bit here. Now what it is, is they are worried. They don't want to repeat a cycle. I think that this person has big plans in the sense, like maybe they want to even, or they're thinking about like family stuff with you or introducing you to family and stuff. But what if, and what if, and what if it happens again? What if we, there's just some burdensome and worrisome energy here. Okay. Yes. Um, <clears throat> do they want to make it work? Yeah, for sure. You have the temperance, but calm and patient. Like as much as this person wants to rush in when it comes to getting serious, serious, I think this person is going to want to just make sure that this is done right. Like one step at a time. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't think we need to dig into this. Do they want to make it work? Yes, but it is on their mind. There is some worry. Uh, the the Trump card here is the temperance. It's a yes, absolutely. Just put it right here. And I mean, the other thing is the fact that, you know, maybe leaving the house, maybe this person would have to leave a house or or leave a situation and they worry about, you know, failure. But that's just their worries. Like, what if it doesn't work out? Near future action. Let's move forward. So I feel like this person is getting ready to come towards you. Now here, when it comes to the actual action, when it comes to their thoughts, they're like, fire, 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 I'm coming in now. When it comes to the actual action, there's more steady, consistent, slow pace move here. And I want to say, I do feel that this person, they may come in, um, but I also feel that when you separate from this person after they come in, there's going to be another moment of reflection is the best way to put it but it's really a pause energy and I kind of feel like it might be a bit long um you know it just and maybe you're going to be like oh that's repetitive energy or something I don't know this person has some things to think about and possibly because they're really into you and they don't want to fail and they don't this person doesn't want it's like they want to make sure they're doing it right if they come in if they, if they do something with you, um, you know, they're, they're feeling you out. Maybe they come in and then they, they retreat. That's just what I'm seeing. Okay. So the final message, and I will pull a card after from the question. You can just ask any question. Um, so the final message, I mean, you're going to be happy. There's going to, there is going to be some sort of a reunion here with the 10 of cups here, because I'll show you why. There's going to be some reunion and there's also going to be an understanding that is reached, maybe a fresh start type of a vibe. Maybe you do take it slow, but I feel that both of you in your own sense um, will be happy. Maybe your person with the nine of wands could feel if it's the masculine, I don't know. I feel like that's the masculine could feel like they still have um, the ability to make their own decision, to be strong in this situation, to do what they want. And maybe you're going to come to this new understanding as well, where you're happy just like with the agreement you've made, you know, this person loves you. Maybe this person will come in and say that right with the love card here because this person will come in and then they will retreat. But 
you will do this. And I think it will become balanced in one way or another. I think your person will start taking the action towards you. And all you kind of got to do is just give the love and just be happy and do your thing, right? Um, and then this person might retreat. It might be something they do right now. So interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, Scorpios, if you have a question, you can ask it. It could have to do with this. I'm not going to try and figure it out for you. You're just going to get the answer from me in the cards. Okay, here we go. Perfect timing. Okay, so I hope that that helps. Um, I just love this energy, to be honest. And Scorpio, I don't know why I didn't even put it together. We started with your card. So this is huge, Scorpio. This is like, yeah, I want to come back to my twin Scorpio. Yeah, I want to come and have a fresh start with the love of my life energy. That's I didn't even see that. Anyhow, Scorpios, bye for now. Thank you so much.